Hey guys, welcome to the Circle Practice Problems Level Easy. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So here we have our easy problem. Now let's read this. So we, so we got this nice diagram here, okay? And we notice two things. We've got point P, and then we've also got the second point down here, which is 12, zero, right? So the X coordinate is 12, the Y is zero. So we've kind of taken a look at that. Now let's read the question. It says, in the XY coordinate system above, the circle is tangent. I'm gonna underline that word is tangent to the x-axis and the y-axis. What are the coordinates of point P? All right, so now we know what we have to find. We have to find the coordinates of point P. So first of all, what does tangent mean? Tangent means it's like basically when it's just like one point is touching the line. That's what tangent means. It also means, te it technically means if something is tangent to a circle, it's parallel to it, right? So it's parallel to that one particular point. So it's not like going through the circle or intersecting it, it's just touching the very, very outer edge. All right, so now we say, what are the coordinates of point P? So what's interesting to note here is since it's sort of tangent, what that tells us is from the center, okay, straight down, uh, that's a radius that I just drew, by the way. From the center straight down is the same length as from this point out here, okay? The reason why we know that is simply because we know that it says it's tangent to the x-axis. Because we know it's tangent, this must, this must be a straight line straight up and down. And because it's a radius, this is also a radius if we go here all the way out to point P. And it and you're kind of assuming in this case that P is a tangent, is tangent to Y, but it actually doesn't even matter. Uh, but the bottom line is, so now we have, this is going to be the same length as this. All right, so what is the length of this line segment right here, first of all? All right, well the way we can calculate that is based on this line segment. I know this sounds a little confusing for an easy problem, but just bear with me. So what we've done here is we've essentially formed a square. We go boom, and then we got this here, and this here. So all these are equal segments, right? So it's like, okay, if we want to know what the radius is, then we simply have to know this area. And what is this length? Well, we know that from the coordinate, right? Because you're just going straight over to the right 12 units. Therefore, this value up here is 12. So what does that mean? The radius sits at 12, 12, sorry for my handwriting. It sits at 12, 12. And now if we go to the left back 12 units, all right, the, the Y value, or sorry, the X value for P is going to be zero because it's sitting on that Y axis. And the Y value is now going to be 12. So there you have it. There is our value for P and let's take a look. And it's right here, choice number B. Zero, 12, final answer, done.